good thing to ask for. I said, my God is able. Do I have a witness in the house? Give God a shout this morning. Brethren, today we're going to lift up the name of the Lord. And I want to bring you to the, a story in the Bible in Genesis chapter 4. It says that there were two brothers, Cain and Abel. And it was harvest time and they were going to give God their sacrifice. But I want you to know that there is power in worship. There is power in your sacrifice. The difference between the two brothers was that one did not have understanding. One did not have understanding of who that sacrifice was for. So one went deep and one went shallow. And the Bible says that Abel's sacrifice please God. So today, let your worship please God. Do not stand and be a spectator. Have a deep understanding of who, you, who has brought you here. How far he has brought you. We are here to exalt his name. We are here to lift up his name. So don't be a spectator this morning. Just agree with us and let your worship be a fragrance unto him. Begin to say something to glorify his name. Begin to lift up his name. Begin to say, Lord, I exalt your name. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you glory. Father, I exalt you. I exalt you, Jesus. Let my worship be an incense unto you, Jesus. Receive our sacrifice, receive our sacrifice, Lord. Ray a baba bode and de de yere bode and da ya baba bade de de and de de yere baba. Yes, Jesus, we exalt your name, O oh God, and I will exalt you. I will. Exalt
Father, brother, begin to lift up your voice unto him. That is who he is this morning. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is none like him. See, there is something about David in the Bible that I love so much. He knew that even as king, he had flaws. And there was somebody that loved him. So every time he found himself, he would go before the presence of God and say the Lord, you are my fortress. You are my rock. You are my salvation. Begin to glorify his name. Exalt him for who he is to you in your life. Even in our weaknesses, even in our flaws, his love continues to abound. His love continues to abound. His grace is sufficient. His mercies, they are new every morning. Even when we keep sinning, even when we keep pulling ourselves away from him, he draws us closer to him. And his love, he lets us love. He outpours his love over us. Oh, Jesus, what a mighty God you are. Oh, yes, Lord, you look beyond us. You look beyond us. Who are we, oh God? What is my household that you have called us, that you have favored us, that you have crowned us with your glory, oh Jesus?
Satan this morning. We hail you as Lord this morning. Lift up your voice and hail him. We hail you as King of Kings. All over this place, lift up your voice. We hail you as King of Kings. Lift up your voice. Just acknowledge him this morning. Lift up your voice and just love the Lord this morning. Hail him as your King, as your Lord, as your Savior, as your Deliverer. Exalt him in this place. Lift up your voice all over this place. Let's worship him. Lift up your voice and love the Lord. Oh, lift up your voice. Let me hear every voice. Hailing him as King of Kings, as Lord of Lords, the young that I am. Lift up your voice. For he said, if I be lifted up, yes, I will draw all men. I'm looking for such that will worship me in spirit and in truth. Let a king be lifted up. If he's your king, you lift him up. Are there some believers in this house? Let a king be lifted up. Oh, oh, let me hear some believers in this house. Say it again. Let a king. Let my king, let my king be lifted. Oh, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, royal house, lift him up, lift him up in your worship, lift him up in your praise, lift him up with a heart full of gratitude. Let my king be lifted.
Ah. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Tell him he's great, God. Great are you, Say, great are you, O Lord. Tell him how great he is. How you see your God is how he manifests himself. Tell him you are great, Lord. You are great. Tell him you are great, Lord. Great are you, O Lord. Great are you, O Lord. Say it again. Great are you, O Lord. Great are you, O Lord. Tell him. Great are you. Tell the Lord that he's a great God. He's a good God. He's a, a God who is worthy. A wonderful God. Great are you, O Lord. Tell him this morning, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Let me hear all the voices saying, Great are you, O Lord. Let me hear every voice in the house saying, Great are you. Oh, lift up your voice. Let the angelic host hear you this morning. Great are you, O Lord. Let everything that has breath exalt him. Say, great are you, O Lord. Lift up your voice. Oh, let me hear every woman in the house saying, great are you, O Lord. Let the, all the voices, all the women say, great. Oh, I cannot hear the women in this house say, great are you, O Lord. Great are you, O Lord. Tell him, great are you, O Lord. Let me hear the men say, great are you, O Lord. All the men say, great are you, Lord. Oh, do I have some men makers in this house? Say, great are you, O Lord. Oh, lift up your voice. Say, great are you, O Lord. Let me hear every voice, the men and the women. Say, great are you, O Lord. Lift your voice and say, great. Say, great are you, O Lord. Great are you, O Lord. Great are you, O Lord, great are you, O Lord. Say for the last time, great are you, O Lord, great are you, O Lord. We say, great are you, Lord, great are you, Lord. Great are you, O Lord. Great are you, O oh Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you. Give the Lord a shout and a celebration in this atmosphere. If you believe that your God is a great God, if you believe that He is a good God, if you believe that He is a merciful God, give Him a shout. As you shout, every wall is coming down. Every wall of opposition is falling. Every wall of failure is coming down. Every wall of affliction is coming down. Every wall of poverty is coming down. Give the Lord a shout. Celebrate your victory. Celebrate your rising. Celebrate your healing. According to your expectations, so it shall be. Come with expectation, come with excitement, come with hope. There will be the woman of 
the woman with the issue of blood in Mark chapter 5, before she even touched the hem of Jesus' garment, she said to herself, if I can only touch, she came with expectation. She believed that if I just have contact with the Jesus, I shall be made whole. The miracle didn't, didn't happen when she touched the hem. It was when she told herself that this man can help me. If you came here just to be a spectator, it is fine. But if you are like me, and you are believing God for mighty things this year, I want you to clap and shout. Celebrate your victory. Celebrate like the miracle you are looking for has been granted. The marriage has happened. The children you are looking for has been given birth to. Oh, the money you are looking for has come. The job you have been expecting, the door has opened. The house you are believing God for, you are living in it. I am celebrating like we are in our own century. Or yeah. Our mega building, we are there already. And we have our daycare running. We have our schools running. We have the offices. So am I talking to somebody here? I'm celebrating like I'm a billionaire. Yeah, yeah. When they are calling billionaires, my name shall be mentioned. I am celebrating because I'll be mentioned in the Forbes magazine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am celebrating because my children will go to Ivy League. Yeah, 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 yeah. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. According to your expectation, it shall be complete. Don't ever come to church and be so depressed. Then what do you come to do? We press in. And before, if you check, if you're a good Bible student, before Jesus ever performed a miracle, he will say, this is the statement, he say, your faith, let it be done to you according to your faith, according to your expectation. So you come to Jesus with faith, expectation. And when the expectation meets the power, nothing can stop you. Tell your neighbor, have expectation this morning. Don't just come and be standing here, have expectation this morning. I don't know, ask them, what are your expectations? Tell them, yeah, I'm expecting for elevation, for promotion, for next level. I'm expecting for some blessings. I'm expecting my healing to take place this morning. I'm expecting, I'm expecting some favor to come upon my life. See the way you care for me. You carry my mother for your head, oh. Say it again. See the way. See the way. See the way you love me. How many of you know that God loves you? He's carrying your bed. You carry my mother for your head, oh. Say it again. See the way. See the way you love me. See the way.
the Lord is watching over you. He's carrying you like a little baby. He's providing for you. He's blessing you in the year. Celebrate the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Let's receive the announcement. Take your seats. Good morning, Royals. What's going on at Royal House Breakthrough Center? I'm so glad you asked. Good morning, Royal House. I'm Haratu. Thanks for joining us this morning. And my name is Adwana. I hope you were blessed by worship this morning because I was. What did you think of worship? Worship was amazing. The atmosphere is set and we're ready to receive from Reverend Jeffrey. Now, I'm ready for the word too, but before that word does come, stay tuned. Join WMG as we grow spiritually through prayer and Bible studies. We meet every other Tuesday on the conference line at 7 p.m. All are welcome to join. Now, Haratu, tell me, where are you going to be at this Wednesday? This Wednesday, I am going to be on the prayer line with the Deborah of this house, Pastor Esther, 8 p.m. Join us, ladies, to pray, intercede for your families, your careers, and your ministry. I know that on Wednesdays, we also have the Pillars for Christ, which meets on the prayer line at 9 p.m. to pray and intercede for the church. I think all of you want to join that as well. Now, on Fridays, I've heard that Royal House has a crazy service. What's that about? Fridays, you do not want to miss. It is amazing. Come for our prayer and our prophetic night, 8 p.m. in-house. You don't want to miss the anointing. The Usher and Apartment meets on the prayer line at 5 p.m. every Saturday to pray and prepare for Sunday service. If you would like to join the ushering team, please talk to any of the ushers right after church. And then also on Sundays, the Armor Bears meets right here in-house at 9 a.m. to pray and intercede for pastor. 9 a.m., you can come and join and intercede. And remember, when you pray for others, God will remember you. Amen. As we said, we are expecting the powerful man of God, Reverend Jeffrey, to speak a word into our lives. But before then, praising showers will come and stir up the atmosphere as we're ready to receive that word. Once again, thank you for joining Royal House Chapel Breakthrough Center. Oh, let's give God a mighty clap offering. Oh, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the King of Kings. Oh, I don't like this clapping at all. I need light. I want to see the people. Are you clapping or you are doing something like clapping? Are you celebrating or you are doing something like celebrating? Amen. Whilst our worship was ending, the premier lady walked in. Mama Rita is in the house. Oh, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Oh. Why? Do you want her to go to Grace to Grace? Then let's celebrate the premier lady. Amen. Amen. Um, uh, Mommy, we just want to thank you for this great honor. Um, she came to town to take our business and then um, she called me to um, bless me for the year. And then I, I felt led by the Spirit to ask her in case the Lord is laying on her heart to pass through Breakthrough Center. She shouldn't bind that voice. That is the voice of God. She should just respond. And by the grace of God, the Lord spoke. So this morning, she's here. I, I, I don't believe that it's by accident that this year, God has made it so. Last weekend, we were privileged and honored to have Apostle Emmanuel to come and be a great blessing. And then our mother to also come this Sunday. That means God has double for us this year. I say a double anointing and grace is going to be released. She's a woman that I love dearly, a woman who has impacted my life and my family, me and my wife and my entire family. She's a mother to mothers. She doesn't discriminate. She loves everybody equally. You can tell that she her genuine love for you when you are interacting with her. Mommy, I just want to publicly say thank you for your love, for receiving me as a son. 
and always praying for me. And your declaration is what Mama Rita started coming to us when we were at the old place. She came and she'll be speaking. She'll be releasing the prophetic word like she's about to do this morning. And the word of the Lord on her tongue keeps us going and has been manifesting year after year. And this year, this is not the only time she's come. But you know the time she's always been coming, convention time. So this year we are getting double dose. Nobody will hijack my blessing. Amen. So this morning, I want you to open up your spirit, open up your heart. God has a word through the woman of God for us. She's carrying a special grace to be an, a blessing to us. If you are believing God for any type of miracle and breakthrough, just connect with her and follow all I'll tell you. Follow and do as she tells you. That is the key. And your life will never be the same. Praising showers will be coming to minister. And right after that, the voice you'll be hearing is no other. The premier lady, Mama Shiloh, the only wife of our Apostle General, the president of Royal Ladies Worldwide, Reverend Mrs. Rita Crunchy Ankara. God bless you. Let's welcome Praise and Shower. My darling. It doesn't matter how you start. I am here to let somebody know. It doesn't matter how you started the year. It doesn't matter what confronted you. I have come to bring you the finishing power. I am here to bring you the finishing grace. Hallelujah. I am here to bring you the finishing anointing. Hallelujah. And I declare to you that you will finish with us. You had a rough start. Jesus. You had a crazy start. The teething problems were too much. You crawled for so long, but I am here to let you know this morning. I am here to let you know this morning. The end will be greater than the former. I said the end will be greater than the former. The end will be greater than the former. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mama Rita, we salute you. Amen. Hallelujah. Breakthrough Center. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise our God. I just want to share this testimony before we start ministration. Um, on Thursday, I woke up, did everything I had to do, and I was on my way to work. So just when I got off of Dumfries Road on the ramp to I-95, there was the oncoming traffic so of course everybody had to yield so I was stopped um, and all of a sudden I just heard a bang from behind someone had hit me my car from behind and I had and I hit the car in front of me the impact was so bad that the water I had splashed all over my dashboard and my sunroof usually you, you have to use your hand to you know open it that also opened by itself but thanks be to God when all was said and done I walked away with nothing amiss I was still intact hallelujah our, our daddy had already prophesied that the blood will speak for us this year and the blood has begun speaking for us Amen. And I'm reminded of the scripture in Job chapter 5 verse 19. And it says, from six calamities, he will deliver you. In the seventh, as for the seventh, no harm will even touch you. And I believe that that is what is going to happen for us this year. And so we have come with gratitude to the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, the one who delivers us. The, the book of Deuteronomy says that he rides on, on the cloud, who is like the God of Jeshurun, who rides on the heavens to bring you help. That's why we praise our God. You know the song, join us as we lift it up unto our God. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. On 
gonna be unto you, Lord. Praises be unto our King. No.
myself home. Yay! Ah, you are not happy I am home. Whether you like it or not, Virginia Mission is my home. Please don't tell Reverend Ima. Please don't tell him. And the people I came here with want them not to go and say anything. But I am home. I am home. I am home. 
Reverend Jeff and your wife, I honor you. I salute you for the good work you are doing. And you said you love me, but I love you more. You have it. I receive it. There is no way a son or a daughter will love the parents more than the parents love their child. My darling, your umbilical cord was tied to me. And any time you look at your belly button, you should always be reminded where you came from. You came from my womb. And I will forever love you. I want to say to the leaders of Victory Center, God bless you. Breakthrough Center, God bless you. And I love you too. And to everyone who is here this morning, I honor you. Reverend Jeff, I've been battling with a message to preach this morning. I've really, really been battling the whole week. I prepared a sermon on the winds, the four winds. Then my daughter, Dikena Dromo, said to me, Mommy, preach the message you preached in Maryland, Grace to Grace on Sunday, Twitter message I said, no, I don't like a message that people have live stream ahead. I want something fresh. So I began to prepare. Then yesterday night, we were sitting at a table and the Reverend Ima said, I hope you are going to do the message you did on Sunday. I said, oh, that is what Nadromo said. But I said, no. Reverend Ima said, mommy, preach the same message. They need to hear the same message. Mama Mina also said they need to hear the same message. Why they want you to hear that message, I don't know. But I have come to preach to you. I will raise my victory banner in year 2023. Hey, when I come back in con- um, during the convention, I might do the wins that I prepared for you or unless God gives me another message. I will raise my victory banner in 2023. Say, I will raise. I, will raise. I want to hear you say, I will raise, I will raise my, victory my victory banner in 2023. Psalm 20 verse 4 and 5. And I want it in the New Living Translation, NLT. Do you have NLT here? New Living Translation. You are very, very current. Shall we go together? Is is that New Living Translation? I see. Mine says, your prayers will be answered. Oh, okay. May he, okay, shall we go? It's the same thing. Shall we go? May he grant. Shall we go? Shall we start from verse 4? I don't think you read with meaning. Shall we start from verse 4? Reverend Joe, you know something? Reverend Jeff, you know something? You know this place looks different. Some glory. I'm not joking. When I entered, I was going to say, have I entered into a new auditorium? Some new glory has entered into this place. Some new glory has entered into this place. Some new glory has entered into this place. Get ready. Shall we go? Verse 4. Did you get it? 
Did you get it? Shall we go? May the Lord. May the Lord answer all your prayers. I said, may the Lord answer all your prayers. May the Lord grant every heart desire. May he answer every prayer that you have prayed from the first day of the week of the altar. May he answer your prayers in January. He would answer your prayers in February. He would answer your prayers in March. He would answer your prayers in April. He would answer your prayers in May. He would answer your prayers in June. He would answer your prayers in July. He would answer your prayers in August. He would answer your prayers in September. He would answer your prayers in October. He would answer your prayers in November. He would answer your prayers. In December, you have won the victory for me. Yahweh, Yahweh. May he make all your plans succeed. May he bless the works of your hands. May he answer every request over your life. May he answer you when you call. May every request, may every request, may every request you place on the altar of your father be answered. May every request this year be answered. God is about to embarrass somebody with miracles. God is about to embarrass somebody with testimonies. The altar will speak for somebody this year. Year 2023, you are about to raise your victory banner. Why? You didn't sleep well yesterday. Is that the first time I'm coming here? To the background story. I came home to make sure you are not a hindrance. Come forward because I can't see you so that. To the background story. Psalm 20 is not just a song. Psalm 20 is a prayer. It opens with a prayer and it closes with a prayer. The first verse says, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. And it concludes in verse 9 and says, may the king answer us when we call. Since the 31st of December 2022, through the 1st of January 2023, we have been calling on the Lord. And he says, may the king, may the king of kings, may the Lord of lords answer us when we call. Psalm 20 was a congregational prayer of Israel in the tabernacle. They were praying for King David because King David was about to go to war with the Syrians, with the people of Syria. So the nation knew that they were about to face a very difficult situation. And the people understood that prayer was the best option. And that was their best weapon. So King David gathered the people in the tabernacle to call on the name of the Lord. This is a man that fought Goliath. This is a man that could kill lions and bear with his bare hands. Yet he knew how to call on the name of the God of Israel before a battle. 
He knew how to call on the name of the Lord for protection. He knew how to call the name of the Lord for covering. My darling, you need the protection of God in every battle you are facing and in every battle you are about to face. In the battle of sickness, you need prayer. You need God. In the battle of your studies, your academics, you need God. In the battles with your business, with your job, you need God. In the battles of your documentation, your green card, your American passport, you need God. Life itself, life itself is a whole battle on itself. Year 2023 is a battle. You need a battle for your marriage. And today, I have come to teach you how you can position yourself to raise your victory banner. How do you position yourself to raise your victory banner? I have four S. I have four S. Number one, the source. Number two, the sanctuary. Sanctuary, sanctuary. Number three, your sacrifice. And number four, your supplication. Number one, the source. Number two, the sanctuary. Number three, your sacrifice. Number four, your supplication. Let's start. The source. The source. Number one says, may the name of the God of Jacob, may the name of the God of Jacob, may the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. Many times in the Bible, we see God introduce himself to individuals as the God of his father, of their fathers. He would always come to the people of Israel and say to them, I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of of Isaac and I am the God of Jacob what God was actually doing is that he was pointing them to their source and before God establishes a covenant with you as an individual he first will introduce you to your source who is your source you need to have a connection with the God of your source. God respects covenant. God can choose to bless you because of the one you are connected to. Because of who your source is. Genesis 26 verse 24. Genesis 26, verse 24. We can do it in the New King James, is that true? Shall we go together? I am what? I am what? Continue. I will bless you and multiply you. 
I will bless you and multiply you. I will bless you and I said I will bless you and multiply you for my servant Abraham's sake. Source. 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 In Royal House Chapel, God has given us a source. And the source is Apostle General. The God of the Father of some crunchy Ankara. Or the God of some crunchy Ankara. Source. Isaac digs a well, or the servants of Isaac dug a well. A well. The Philistines took the well away from him, and he named the well Isaac. Isaac means contention. Isaac means trying. Isaac means arguments. This morning. I have come to let you know that any contention is going away. Every strife is moving away. Every argument is moving out of your life. He built yet another well. They took the well also away from him. And he calls that well Sitna. Sitna means opposition. Sitna means hostility. This morning, any opposition in your life is given. Every hostility in your life is making way. Then he dug yet another well, the third well. And that well, the Bible says that they didn't take it away from him. And he called that well Rehoboth. Rehoboth means the Lord will enlarge and increase you. Rehoboth means you'll be fruitful in the land. Listen to me, church. This morning, I see the God of your source, the God of your father, Apostle General, coming to you and telling you, you will be fruitful. You will multiply. You will make it. But listen, Reverend Jeff, Abraham had dug a well. And the wells were taken away from him. Some way, somehow, the Bible says that he named the wells the same name that his father named them. Finally, he gets one. He names it Rehoboth. Then God comes to him in Genesis 26 and says, I will bless and multiply your descendants for my servant Abraham's sake. Reverend Jeff, this morning, God is saying to you that the God that has given your father apostle general multiplication the God that has enlarged him in Ghana he God because of his servant Abraham because of his servant, Apostle General, 
he will bless you too. Multiply you too. And increase you on the land. He says, what he has done out of Reverend Emma in Maryland. The building he has given him. The name he has given him. He says he will do the same for you. I will bless you because of your father Abraham. He said I will multiply you. I will enlarge you. I will enlarge you. Reverend Jeff, I will enlarge you. Reverend Jeff, I will multiply you. Reverend Jeff, I will bless you for the sake of your father, the Apostle General. Because you are connected to Reverend Imatu, he will bless you. And you hear, God says, I should tell you, in Breakthrough Center, because you are connected to Reverend James, he will bless you. He will bless you. He will bless you. He will bless you. multiply. He says I will bless you and multiply your descendants. What you see here is just the beginning. God says he will multiply your descendants. He will multiply your congregation members. He will multiply the individuals here. He will multiply their money. He will multiply their influence. He will multiply their wealth. He will multiply. I see this place. It has become too small. 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 Reverend Jeff, the Lord says I should tell you, you will pastor the crowd. 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 listening to me I declare to you this morning 
that the Lord will bless you. The Lord will multiply you. The Lord would increase you. The Lord will enlarge your tent. Yes, he will bless the works of your hands. Yes, Elijah was about to go. He was about to end his ministry. He decided to move from Gilgal to Bethel. He didn't want to go with Elisha. But some way, somehow, Elisha followed. When they got to Bethel, Elijah said, go back. He said, I am not going back. As long as God reigneth, as long as God lives, I won't go back. So Elisha stayed, followed him to Jericho. When they got to Jericho, Elijah's, Elijah said, move, go home, go and sleep. Elijah said, I'm not going. As long as God lives, I am not going. I am going with you. So they moved to Jordan. Yesterday, I went out when I got home. My, well, my room was tidy, very, very tidy. And there's a lady that lives with Reverend in my Mama Mina, you know, Auntie Helena, and she tidies up my room. And when I came, the room looked very different, like it looks different today. So I went to Auntie Helena and I said, who tidied my room? And he said, she said, mommy and daddy. I said, who is mommy and daddy? said, Mama Mina and Reverend Ima. I said, why did they do it? He said, she said, they said they wanted to do it themselves today. That is yesterday. So, when they came, I said, ah, but you people, what is wrong with you? I hear you tidy up my room. So, Mama Mina asked, how did you know we did it? Because it's Auntie Elena who's been doing it. I said, I know when Auntie Elena does it. And this time it's been done differently. So I know. So I said, but why did you do it? Then Mama, the Reverend Emma said, hey, Mama Mina said, she woke up today and said, today we must tidy your room to take anointing. <laughs> My darling, anointing and blessing doesn't come on a silver platter. You don't do anything in the church. You come, you go. You come, you go. You come, receive, go, receive, go. Sunday pew more. Anointing doesn't come like that. It comes by service. What are you doing in the house of the Lord? What are you doing to attract the blessings I am talking about? What are you doing to attract the miracles I'm talking about? Some people are ushering. Some people are in protocol. Some people are in the choir. Some people are playing instruments. What, what are you doing? Ask somebody, what are you doing? So I was telling Reverend Emma, Reverend Jeff, I used to travel a lot with Mama Christy Dotete and Mama Francesca Duncan Williams. I used to travel a lot with them. A week's program, I'll do two days. Mama Christy would do two days. My darling, we all went as first ladies. But the first ladies, there are. When we go, I remember one time we went to Kumasi. I 
I went first, before they came, I had laid their bed. I had scrapped their bathroom. I have mopped the floor. I went with an armor bearer. The armor bearer wanted to be a devil. Said, Mama Rita, why are you doing it? Why are you to your first, first lady? I said, go away with your stupidity. I traveled to Abidjan with them. I did the same thing. When we are all going, we are all going with armor bearers. When we get there, I take their bags. I give my bag to my armor bearer. I hold Mama Christine's bag and I hold Mama Francesca's bag. When we finish and we get there and they are going to minister, I carry their water. I carry their Bibles. When we get there, they won't allow the whole speaker to introduce them because for them, I am a daughter. I know them more than the host pastor. I will introduce them well. My darling, what are you doing to attract anointing? Elijah discouraged Elisha. Elijah said, go back. He said, me to go back. Until I get the double portion of your anointing, I am not going back. Reverend Ima and I have a joke. I tell him, because I sleep by the anointing, when the Apostle General is going, I will see it first. And I've told the Apostle General, he will go before I do. I tell Reverend Ima, Reverend Ima, I will see it first, oh. And I will call the sons that I love to come for the anointing. I said, Reverend Ima, if you don't treat me well, whilst your father is alive, when he's about to go, I won't call you. But if you take good care of me, when he is going, I will call you. I say, Reverend Emma, your father is going. Take the next available flight. Come down now and take the double portion. And I'll do that to your father here. That is tell him if he treats me well. So let, now I'm selling the anointing to you. So Elijah followed to the go to Jordan. When they got there, Elijah took his mantle, hit the Jordan River, and the Jordan River divided into two, and they walked on dry grounds into the middle of the Jordan River. And Elijah now says to Elisha, you have passed the tests. What do you want? The Lord has sent me to ask somebody this morning, what do you want? Year 2023, what do you want? Elisha said, I have followed you. I know you are a pure man of God. I crave the anointing over your life. I'm not only craving for one. I am asking for double. And this year, I know me, I will receive double. Every day, I live stream with Accra. Live stream with Accra. Take the blessings from Accra. When I finish, I go to grace to grace. I remember when I was going for the first time. Reverend Ma says, Mommy, don't come. You came to babysit. Sit at home and babysit. I said, Me, I won't double. Every day I went, including yesterday in the morning. I'm not a fool. Elijah said, I am ready. 
when you see me go, all of a sudden, Elisha decided he's not even taking his eyes off the man. He began to look and look and look. By the time he realized, a wind was carrying him up, 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 up. Whilst he was going, Elijah dropped his mantle. He held on to his mantle and he screamed, My father, my father. We are talking about souls. After he grabbed and he claimed my father, my father, he realized that this time he was in the middle of the Jordan River. How was he going to go out? All he did was to take the mantle and said, the God of my father. The Jordan River divided into two and he walked into dry ground. And the Bible records that Elijah performed seven miracles. Elisha performed 14 miracles. <laughs> Reverend Jeff, I see the same come upon you. You will do better than your father, Apostle General. You will do better than Reverend Emma. I see a double portion. A double portion. A double portion. A double portion. Come upon you. If you also believe. Year 2023. You are receiving double. You are receiving double. You are receiving double. Open your mouth and say. Year 2023. I receive double. I receive double. I receive double. All your promises are Jerusalem. May he 
send you help from, this, from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. God is not only a God of individuals, but he's also a God of locations. Say locations. God identifies himself with landmark locations. He said to Jacob in Genesis 31 verse 13, he says, I am the God of Bethel. I am the God of Bethel. My darling, listen to me. During the COVID, when churches were closed, I could hear people who don't go to church say, yes, why should churches be open? You can call on God everywhere. Uh, uh, yes, you can call on God everywhere. Yet, God said, I am the God of Bethel. It means that there are certain places where you call on God. He answers you faster. My darling, don't ever fool yourself and say when I live stream, I will get the same. It's not the same. Live stream is for people who have traveled and they can't be in the service. God gives them that grace. It's for people who have gone to give um, give birth. They are on the hospital bed. They can't be in person. God gives them that grace. Like me now. I can't be in person in a here. So God will give me that grace to receive it. But live stream is not for lazy people. That you want to stay in the comfort of your home. Sipping coffee with fried eggs or with sausages or bacon. And then you want to receive the same measure as me who woke up, took a shower, dressed up, made up, sat in my car, drove and be here, my darling. Tell somebody it's not the same. Tell those live streaming that my darling is not the same. Tell them. God told the people of Israel in Zechariah 14 verse 17 that anyone who will not come up to, up to Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, on them there will be no rain. In Royal House Chapel, God has given us a location. God has given us a landmark. We call it the altar of Royal House Chapel. The altar of God. My darling, here at Breakthrough Center, anytime you run to this altar, whatever is chasing you will go back. Anytime you run to this altar, whatever you ask of God, he will answer. We call it the altar of our father, the altar of God. Today, I bless this altar. I declare that if anybody I erase and make this altar whole and make this altar blessed and the altar humanity miss divinity anytime you call 
on God on this altar, I declare to you that whatever you asked of God, yes. Elijah said, you have asked a hard thing. It doesn't matter how impossible what you have asked of the Lord is. He will do it. Anytime I call, you answer. Oh Lord, anytime I call, you
we prayed. And prayer spoke for her. Finally, when she got married, the devil said, when you were getting married, I was asleep. So I didn't see it. I, I allowed you to get married. Now I am wide awake. We will see how you will be pregnant. Sandra waited. And was not getting pregnant. And this is somebody with masters in nursing. Went to the hospital. When they went, the doctor mentioned some wondrous Mentioned some name that cannot be pronounced. That was wrong with her. And the doctor said to her, it's very impossible for you to have a child. So what she did that day, first lady, was that right from the hospital, she went to the sanctuary, laid on the altar, nobody knew, laid on the altar, and said, God, I have heard that the source of my father is Archbishop Benseni Dahosa. He's the God of my father. He's the source of my father, the father of my father. Number two, every year, Apostle General comes here. He's the covenant brother of my father. Number three, my own father, biological father and spiritual father. God, if indeed you have called these three fathers, the father of my father, you have called Archbishop of blessed memory, Edahosa, you call them. And you called Apostle General. And any time he comes to our church to preach, you want me to go and listen to him. And you are the God of my biological and my spiritual father. Then I won't accept the report of the doctors. Make a way for me. Within two weeks, she felt very funny. The God of her fathers, the source, the sanctuary, the altar. Two weeks she felt very funny. Went to the hospital. They started to, when she, she saw the doctor first, the doctor said, um, it could be fibroid or the sickness getting more serious, whatever. You might have to do an ultrasound. So, if it's too serious, we'll do um, the one they remove the womb. They will remove your womb. She went to do it. Whilst on the table, with the scanner on her tummy, the one who was doing it said, wait a minute. I don't see fibroid. I see a baby. I see a baby.
Number three, your sacrifice. I keep looking at the time. Your sacrifice. I want Reverend Jeff to invite me again. My time is gone. Verse three. May he remember all your gifts and look favorably on your burnt offerings. I would want verse three in the New King James. In the New King James. It says, May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. It was a tradition. In Israel at the time, that before the eve of any war, they will offer different kinds of sacrifices. Peace offering, burnt offering, whatever, different kinds of offerings. They will offer it before the Lord, the eve. So that day, they also offer they also offered sacrifices. The eve of the war with the Syrians. My darling, sometimes what prayer will not do, what sacrifice and uh, what fasting will not do, sometimes sacrifices will do it for you. Sacrifices and offerings are a voice that intercedes for you. Anytime you are faced about anything, anytime you are facing any challenge, anytime you are facing any problem, let your sacrifice speak for you. I am here in the U.S. because of my third child, my second girl. She came to America to deliver. She goes to the hospital. And she's told she has gestational diabetes. The nurses and the medical people here will understand. And anybody who's ever gone through a gestational diabetes. Then she went for ordinary antenatal. You call it pre-care. Is that what you call it here? Prenatal. Nice, Americans. <laughs> So she went for prenatal. When she went, she was told that the sugar had gone so high that the baby is not receiving enough nutrients from her. So the baby is not growing. And that if they don't remove the baby immediately, they were going to have a still birth. Still birth means that you were going to deliver with a baby already dead in your womb. So straight away, when she went that morning, they didn't allow her to go home. They took her straight to the, to the um, labor ward or the theater. And then they started inducing her. Inducing means they give you forced labor. So you can enter into labor by force. So they told her it will take about 12 hours for her to deliver. Guess what? Within 26 hours, she still hadn't delivered.
Then finally, they looked on the monitor. And they said the baby was dying. Mama Mina was with her. I was in Ghana then. The whole night, nobody has slept in the house. Myself, Apostle General, all my children, we were praying and praying and praying. Reverend General, then I said to Apostle General, where we have reached, I want to go on the altar. I took a sacrifice. Went on the altar. Just before I got to the altar, Mama Mina called me and said, they said they want to do CS. CS is they cut you and they take. I said, if they would do cesarean, then she didn't need to go through 26 hours. She had dilated eight centimeters. She couldn't stand the it again. So she called for epidural. I said, after all this, she told me this when I was walking to the altar. Immediately, I lay on the altar, placed my sacrifice. The mama Mina called me. The baby's coming. The baby's coming. The... I have more than a song today. I brought myself. I am your sacrifice. God, I have more than a song today. at me with the eye of last year or the last time I came you are looking at me with that eye my darling I have two granddaughters oh listen I'm, I'm not done now my dress has changed hey! Come on now. Woo! I am a proud grandmother My first grandson.
wanted to rob me of my testimony. Nobody will take your testimony away. You should see the boy. He looks exactly like the grandfather. My darling, I have brought into the world a future apostle general. Last week, on the altar of grace to grace, I presented him to God. And I said, you, you will forever be a property of Royal House Chapel. Guess his name. Sam Crunchy Ankara Nemo. My father, I'm leaving him on the altar. Leave me at the altar with my father. That's where I belong. Leave me at the altar. Leave me at the altar. That's where I belong. Leave me at the altar. Leave me at the altar with my father. That's where I belong. Leave me at the altar. with just one king. It's supposed to be a done deal. Before they went to the battle, they went to one of the major prophets and said, we want to go into battle, do we? The major prophet said, go. We will win the battle. Then these three kings faced the king of Moab. The battle was fierce. They were killing the Moabites. Then the king of Moab remembered that on the eve of every war, the people of Israel give sacrifices. He said, let me try what the people of Israel does. He took his only his, his took his son, his firstborn son, the one who was supposed to reign in his stead. The king of Moab became like God at the time, offering Jesus his only begotten son. He said, let me do it. He offered his son as a burnt offering. The Bible says that immediately they started killing the people of Israel all of a sudden all of a sudden there was like a turn around Edom Judah and Israel went back because of the sacrifice We are about to take the blood of Jesus. Today, I sprinkle the blood over your sacrifice. That anybody that touches this 
year 2023, you will raise your victory banner. I don't know what Reverend Emma did last week, but what Reverend Emma did last week was for last week's anointing. If you gave last week and you don't want to give, that is your business. If you are tired of giving, that is your business. But I have come so you raise your victory banner for year 2023. My darling, sacrifice stands for your blood. Once you decide to give, you didn't even allow me to mention 1,500 From victory. Did you hear me? Unto victory. Get ready. His only shall. Thousand five hundred. Till end. Three hundred. Two hundred. Is vanquished. Thousand five hundred. And Christ is Lord. Indeed. My darling. Don't wait for me to get to the list. From you know what you want in year 2023. To you know what is chasing you. His army shall he lead until there every fall is vanquished and cry. 1,500, 300, 200. From victory, 150, 100. If 
your sacrifice is ready, don't put it down yet. Number two, if you don't have 1,000, you don't have 500, you don't have up to 50, any amount you have, you can come for an envelope. If you are swiping whilst there, I want you to listen to me. I am concluding. If whilst you are there, listen to me. My last and I'll be done, your supplication. My supplic your supplication. Verse 5. God bless the parents who have asked. Oh, I thought they were coming for envelopes. But teach your children to come or to give sacrifices. Whilst you are there, please listen to me. May the Lord answer all your prayers. Verse 5. May the Lord answer all your prayers. May the Lord answer all your prayers. You can see that David is a man of war. But he's also a man of prayer. He's standing before the congregation in the tabernacle with the people leading them to pray. Like I said in the beginning, this is a man who killed lions. He killed birds. He killed Goliath. But what you do not know, the winning the battle with Goliath, killing Goliath, the champion of the Philistines, wasn't through weapons. Listen carefully. For the people of Israel, they saw battle as a spiritual thing. They didn't see any battle lightly. And we can see it between the confrontation. Between the confrontation of David and Goliath. So the battle in your marriage is not an ordinary battle, my darling. It's spiritual. What you are going through with your children is not ordinary. It's spiritual. What you are going through at work is not ordinary. It's spiritual. Our sister driving and having an accident is not ordinary. Day after her life and after the future of her children. And we can see that when David meets Goliath, we can see that it was a spiritual thing. David tells Goliath, you come to me with a sword, physical, with a spear, physical, with a javelin, physical. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, spiritual, the God of the armies of Israel, spiritual. Whom you have defied. He said this day. The Lord will deliver you into my hands. My darling, I don't know who you are fighting with. I don't know who is fighting with you. But this day, the Lord will deliver them into your hands. I don't know what you are looking for. I don't know what you have been praying for. I don't know what you have been crying for. I don't know why you collected the sacrifice. The envelope. I don't know why you came to this altar. But today, I see God. The God of the Apostle General. 
the God of Sam Chankra. I see him. Come through for you. He will deliver your miracle in your hands. I said he will deliver your miracle in your hands. Whoever is fighting you. He will deliver it into your hands. And finally he declares. Then all this assembly shall know. That the Lord does not save. With sword and spear. He doesn't save. With your words. He doesn't save. With your anger. He doesn't save. With your quarrels. For the battle. Is the Lord's. My darling. Whatever is confronting you today. Is the Lord's. He will give it into your hands. Don't go into it, into any battlefield with your physical strength and with your wisdom. You will fail. And that is why you have been failing. See every battle in your life as a spiritual thing. Handle it spiritually. Whether it's the battle with your finances. You know some people work so hard and yet they have nothing to show. It's a battle. The battle in your marriage is spiritual. The battle with your academic work. People study so hard. They teach people. Yet when they go into the examination hall, the people they taught will pass and they will fail. My darling, it's a spiritual childbearing. They've told you that as for you, you can't give birth. My darling, that's not the way God created you. Handle it spiritually. Your health. Every day, there's something they say about your health. It's a spiritual. Handle it that way. Battle every spiritual, every spiritual thing, every situation with prayer. That is why I believe that song. Leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me, let me battle it. Leave me, let me fight it. Leave me, let me war it. Leave me, let me pray about it. Leave me, let me give sacrifices. Listen. Sometimes you come to a place. You come to a place in your life that you come before God and you don't even know what to say. You have done everything you need to do. Fasting, you have fasted. First fruit, you have given. Tight, you have paid. You come to places in your life where you don't know the kind of prayer to pray anymore. My darling, when it happens that way, you will do what Jehoshaphat did. You will go the Jehoshaphat style. Is somebody with me this morning? Are you ready to call on the name of the Lord? Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 12. And I want it in the GNT. Good news translation. I don't know if there's anybody here. That has come to that place in their lives. Do you have GNT? 
you don't. There's another one, GNT. It has different names, but the same version. Um, otherwise, listen to me. Let's read it in the in the New King James, and then I will go to good news. Shall we read? My darling, when you come to a place in your life where you do not know what to do, you go the Jehoshaphat style. David's style was the giddy giddy prayer. David's style was the one when you are praying with words. But sometimes... You have tried everything. You go Jehoshaphat. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 12. Good news version or good news translation. It says you are our God. My darling. I have tried. I don't know what to do anymore. I am weak. It is there. You are our God. Punish them. Father, I am helpless. The man you gave to me, the woman you gave to me, I don't know what to do again. Handle it yourself. Handle it the way you want. People are pursuing after me. You are our God. You have a boss in the office. Who doesn't like you? It doesn't matter what you do. You are our God. Punish them. For we are helpless. In the face of this large army. That is attacking us. In the face of all these plenty challenges. We do not know what to do. But we look to you for help. God, I have come to a place where I don't know what to do anymore. Take over this battle. Do what you know how to do best. Fight on my behalf. Speak, O oh Lord. Rise up on your feet. Lord, I come. I come, confess and bow when here I rest without You are saying with me 
praying this morning. You are our God. Banish them, Lord. For we are helpless. We do not know what to do. But we look up to you. If you look up to God this morning, it doesn't matter how difficult the situation is. He would come through for you. Yeah, yeah. We look to Yahweh. I come. I come confess. Bowing here. I find my rest. Lord, without you. Let us be free. 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 Let us be
Let us be free. Let us be free. Yes, Lord. Lord, let us be free. Let us be
Psalm 20, verse 5. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory and raise a victory banner in the name of our God. May the Lord May the Lord May the Lord Answer all Jesus Hallelujah May we shout for joy Yes God When we hear of your victory And raise a victory banner in the name of our Lord. Year 2023. I declare. As the mother of Royal House Chapel worldwide. That you will shout for joy. Yeah. You will not be the only one to shout for joy. It says, May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory. Yes, yes, my yes. darling. Yes, God. I am here to let you hey, come on. that the world will hear you. Yes, God. testimony they will shout for joy hey, even your enemies yes, God. even those who don't like you come on come on come on come on the ones who are making you hey. cry the ones who are making you sorrowful Jesus. those who are not making you move forward hey. they will hear your victory they will hear your victory we hear your victory. Then we hear your victory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we hear your victory. Jesus. Then we hear your victory. Yes, God. And then we shout for yes, God. The champion of the host of 
was leading. One of the days, I think Wednesday or Thursday, a grace to grace. And says some time ago, during week of the altar, they would always call for those who want green card. And the altar would be full. Today, when they call for people with green card, the altar is... Hey, those days the altar was a lot, was full. Today, there are only few people. Some time ago, my armor bearer, when they call for people who want children, they, she's running. Today. Yeah. There was no child. Yeah. I prayed, prayed, gave sacrifices. She gets her first born, Samuela. Born on the birthday of daddy. Second, I was there when she called me, crying, crying. I said, what is it? Is something wrong with uh, Samuela? Is something wrong with Pastor Rodney? Has somebody done anything? Is your mother there? <laughs> I'm ashamed. I said, ashamed of what? I am pregnant again. Yeah! Less than nine months. I said, you are a big fool. You know what? I, my darling, God was embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby. 
need to go and do. You people, you don't know. I said for the Ghanaians, I don't know. You don't if you do naming ceremony. They are waiting for me, Reverend Jen. Eighteen years old. The guy called me and said, "Mommy, me too. I am a father. Me too. Me too. Me too." Hey, He's hey, more happy hey, than hey. his wife. <laughs> Guess what? When the child was coming, it wasn't one. Twins, a girl hey, and a boy. Hey. I see trouble. I see trouble. I see trouble.
with the token in my hands. I want to hear you with the token in my hands. My struggles has come to an end. Say with the token in my hands. Victory is mine. With the token in my hands. My family members and everybody around me will shout for joy. Will scream for joy. Will shout for joy. Shout for joy. of miracles and testimonies in this church. Lift up your blood. Say with this blood. Say with this blood. The blood of covenant. The blood that was shed for me. As I drink and as I apply Every sickness in my system, known and unknown, the ones I have now and the ones I am yet to have, as I take this blood, I flush my system. I flush my system as I flush my system in the name of Jesus. Every sickness is out. I am healed. And I am totally healed. In the name of Jesus. Drink some. Don't drink. Communion is nice. Though. Ours in Ghana is not nice. Apply some on your forehead. Say, my life is protected. My life is covered. I am under protection. I hide myself under the wings of the Almighty God. If any arrow is thrown at me, it will go back to the one who threw it. As for me, I am free. I am protected in the name of Jesus. Apply it to your ear. Say from today through next week to the rest of the months and the days of the year. My years will hear good news. My years will hear breakthroughs. My years will hear my testimonies. I will hear people shout for joy in the name of Jesus. Anoint your eyes. Say, my eyes will see my victory. My eyes 
will see my miracles. My eyes will see my breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Your hands. Let's do the lips first. Let's do the lips first. Sorry, we got to now. Say my lips. My lips will sing the latest gospel song. My lips will worship God because of what he will do for me. My mouth, my lips will sing forth the praises of God. This mouth, this lips will give testimonies and testimonies and testimonies and testimonies. The world is about to hear my story. My mouth will speak. My mouth will speak. My mouth will speak forth. Will speak forth the mysteries of God. Anybody chasing me, anybody after me, I declare that my mouth will speak of the mysteries and the testimonies and the miracles of God. Your feet. Apply to your feet. Whatever you want your feet to do for you, apply it. If you want your feet to walk into accidents, declare it. But if you want your feet to walk into accident-free year, into breakthroughs, that your feet will walk in butter. When the Bible says your feet will walk in butter, it means your feet will walk in prosperity. It will walk in plenty. That my feet will be ordered by the Lord. It will go to where my miracles are. Some of you, your miracles are at the north. Your feet direct you to the south. Say so this year, where my miracles are, my feet will walk into that place. My feet will walk and dine with kings and queens. This year, I will walk in the corridors of power where great men are, where great women are, where business tycoons are. That is where I will walk to. My feet are blessed in the name of Jesus. You can now bless your hands and then if there's some more you can drink. Watch your life this year. Watch your life this year. Watch your life this year. You want to seal it up with a sacrifice in your hands. Come and drop your sacrifice. Come and drop your sacrifice. I will hear your testimony. I will hear your testimony. I will hear your testimony. Ariane, you didn't just follow me. Oh, I will hear your testimony. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome as your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome as your name. Stand amazed. 
sing your best. There's nothing you cannot do. I stand amazed, I stand amazed in your presence. There is joy, peace, and hope.
Give the Lord a mighty praise. Let's celebrate our mother, Mama Ria, the premier. Oh, rise up. Let's thank God for her life. She has poured her heart out. She has blessed us mightily. Oh. Oh. I feel like we are in a revival. I feel like we are in a conference. I wish she's coming back tomorrow evening. She's coming back Tuesday. What a wow. I don't even feel like going home. You know, I have to be getting ready to go to Grace to Grace tonight. Let's celebrate our mommy again. Let's thank God for this great, great deposit. Let's thank God for her life. Mommy, we thank you. And I now understand why God made this so for you to come here. Oh, what a service. If you don't succeed this year, then you, there's no hope for you. If this year you don't laugh, then I don't know when you will laugh again. After this deposit, no witch from your house, no demon from your background can ever stop your testimony. This year, just follow the principles she taught us. Just follow. Simple. Align yourself. Amen. Take your seats. Take your seats. Oh man, I'm sitting down and I'm, I'm just saying that keep going, just keep going. I mean, let's just keep going. What a service. What a service. Amen. I'm going to receive the lost tithes. If you have not engaged this altar today, you want to make sure you engage with the sacrifice. After a message like this, I don't know which other motivation or encouragement that you need. But I'm going to ask those who have walked in covenant with God, you have the lost tithes. Those of you who also have your first fruits, you want to honor God with your first fruits, I'm going to receive those now. And then we'll be closing in the next five minutes. Jaira, you are in now. If you have the lost tithes, if you gave during the week and you're not here on Friday, you can, you can come join them in the front. If you have not engaged the altar today, make sure you take a sacrifice and come and engage the altar. You are the lost tithe. If you are coming for first fruit, first fruit on my left, the tithe this way. But you it's okay. I will be content in every circumstance. Say, You are enough. Say it again, Jaira. I bless this tight. I sanctify it in the blood of Jesus. I declare that, Lord, as they walk in covenant with you this year, may covenant speak for them. May the covenant that you have with Apostle General, our Father, our source, let this covenant speak for them. Where others fail, may they succeed. Where others struggle, may they have ease. Where others are rejected, may they be accepted. Father, let there be a seal of approval on their lives. I declare that they are blessed. Their tight is blessed. They are seed is blessed. I declare that this year will be a year of increase, enlargement, and expansion on every side. According to the word of the living God, we declare it so. Anyone with first fruits among you? Anyone? I'm already loved. I'm already chosen. I feel strongly in my spirit. Some of you, I, 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 because our mommy is in a different realm today. I've seen and sat under her feet for many years, but today is at a different realm. If, and I feel that God is impressing on somebody here. I think there are some couples, and I also I believe individuals. God is impressing your heart to take a sacrifice to sow into this anointing that is upon her, for her to just release a word over your life. Don't hold back. Don't resist it. If you don't have cash, it's fine. Just swipe the card. So you can swipe. You can do push pay just right at the back of the envelope and we'll take care of it afterward. But if the Lord is leading you to do it, do it. go ahead. I just feel strongly, strongly. She's in a different realm altogether. 
Trust me, it's because of time. She can continue and continue. The anointing is so strong on her. So if you are led to do that, right, don't resist. I felt that God is speaking to somebody, but God needed me to say this to confirm to you that that's his voice. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Don't fight it. Because I believe that there's a blessing that must come your way through the, the word of the Lord on her tongue. And one thing I can tell you, everything that she says under the unction, always God fulfills it. Personally, every prophecy she has given me has come to pass. So I don't doubt and I don't joke with her words. So if God is leading you to do that, please after service, go ahead and do it. Do it straight away. Be patient. If you go and there, there's a queue and a lot of people, just be patient. When you need something, you have to... I thought you was bringing a sacrifice for prayer. Amen. Let's clap for our children. We love them. So I just wanted to say that and then God bless you. Friday we'll be back here with our prayer and prophetic night. You don't want to miss it. Last Friday, last Friday was awesome in this place. God moved mightily. And after a release like this, for our mother to come and release and deposit and this altar, Friday you see what will happen on this altar. And so, any opportunity, whenever you come to church, make sure you engage the altar before you go. Those of you who always come, you just at the back and just sneak. Service will not even close, then you leave. Stop that kind of spirit. It's not good. Amen. Wednesday, um, Royal Ladies will be praying at 8 p.m. on the prayer line. Uh, WMG, is it this uh, um, Tuesday you are meeting? This Tuesday, 7, 7 p.m. WMG, you are uh, on the prayer line at 7 p.m. Also, and, and I'm a barrest, um, sorry, Pillars for Christ. Now you are moving from online to in-person prayer session. So starting this Wednesday, next week Wednesday, starting next week Wednesday. Uh, so this Wednesday you're on the prayer line and then starting next week Wednesday, you'll be meeting in person here. Amen. Okay, so if today's your first time, you've never been here, give me, give me a wave. Today's your first time. God bless you. Let's appreciate them. Breakthrough Center. Can you guys give me some light? Give me some light. I told you I needed some light. Let's, I want to see their faces. Oh, God, God bless you. God bless you. Oh, let's clap for them. Let's appreciate God for their lives. Let's appreciate God for their lives. Better, 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 better. God bless you. Thank you for coming and to fellowship with us. This is Royal House Chapel Breakthrough Center. I'm privileged to, uh, to be serving here as the lead pastor with my beautiful wife. I would love to, if you don't have a home set, church, I would love to have you here and to pastor you and to shepherd you. And I trust that God will never disappoint you and this altar will never disappoint you. We always say that in Royal House, just give us three months and you will see the hand of God move in your life. Right after service, I would love to receive you. Come to the front. I would love to know your name and speak a word over your lives. Amen. God bless you. Once again, let's thank God for our mommy. Let's appreciate her for the great blessing. Please, if you have to see mommy, don't go and bore her with a lot of talking. She has to be going to drive to Maryland and then go for the service tonight in Grace to Grace. So, please, if you have a gift and you just want to release that gift, just go and please keep it short. Keep it short. Don't go and speak. one minute, you are done. I just will want to talk to her. Okay, don't go and bore her too much. She's tired. And please, I'm, I'm pleading with you. Some of you, when you see her, you want to one hour with her. Don't do that. Not today. We can do that when she comes back in, in July. Uh, we, we can do that. Actually, May, Apostle General is with us. Is, is it, I, I wasn't going to say now. I don't know what came over me. And Apostle General will be with us three days in this house. Mommy is also coming. It's going to be a double. This year is our year of double. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy sent me a message. Said, uh, my son, this year I want to come to you. I'm giving you three days. Three days. You know, he always used to come just one day. And we used to appreciate it. But God has opened the heavens for us. Amen. So start preparing yourself. And Daddy and Mommy will be back with us here in May. And we can't wait for that. Amen. Can you rise up on your feet? Look at somebody. Envelopes. Or oh, if you have any envelopes, you have to drop. Come and drop it. Oh, please, come now. Come now. Come now. If you have any envelopes, you are holding on to any envelopes, come and drop it now. 
we are sharing the grace and we are, you cannot take the envelope home. And the envelope is not a souvenir we gave you. So please, come and make sure, come and drop it. It's for you to put your sacrifice in and come and engage the altar. God bless you for your obedience. Tell somebody, I see the glory of God over your life, over your family, and everyone who has a good heart towards you. This is your year of victory. This is your year of testimony. I cannot wait to celebrate with you the goodness of the Lord in your life. May the grace, the love of God, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. I love you. This is Royal House Chapel Breakthrough Center. Today is your first time. Please come. Ushers. Ushers. First time, this time, today's your 